when is the last time you read something fitness based? As oh. in like a book or a, an art, like something like that. Fitness based. Yeah. you said something like that. I, as in fitness or business? Do you mean? Uh, no, more like fit. Like more like um, in and around fitness, weight loss, nutrition, training. Ages. Yeah. A long time. I'm gonna read that Peter Atia. I'm not listening to him on a podcast. I'll read one of his books because yeah. everyone's buying on about that as well. Sometimes I thought, I'm like, oh, everyone's fucking going on about it. I'll read that. What well, I'd maybe read Ben Carpenter's Carpenter's book. How about Andrew book. Huberman? I, I don't mind Andrew Huberman, but I do think he's also overhyped. Yeah, I think he takes things that there probably is like a grain of truth to and then like... Well, he's you, a neuroscientist, you isn't he? That and then he steps into all these different topics. I think for someone, I think for someone like him, if you take enough of those little things and do enough of them, you probably get some returns. But then you just turn into a full meme, don't you? Like you're waking up, fucking pushing your coffee back two hours, going a walk. He actually, do you ever listen? To what have you been saying more? to me every time I drink a coffee? Fucking stop doing it. That's too early. But that is true though. Like, do you ever have caffeine as soon as you wake up? You do just feel shite. What do you mean, do you ever? I've never not. <laughs> well, try it. <laughs> Andrew okay. Huberman did a podcast about his morning routine. And he was like, uh, it's like, you have to get up. This is a massive war simplification, by the way. He was like, you have to get up. You have to get out. It was a Northern Irish accent as well. <laughs> out into the street and you have to like get light into your eyes. But he says the optimal way to do it is by doing this. It's like look, trying to look behind yourself. <laughs> Could you imagine being out in the street? <laughs> Morning. <laughs> look at you <laughs> well, that's what he said he says that's like the optimal way to i don't know what it's about getting laid into your uh what retina. do you call it retina what it, periphery into uh, the, your periphery vision or uh, something nearly, like that nearly got it close enough you're right <laughs> <laughs> not far off and then um, what was the other thing it was like push your coffee back 60 minutes no nah, two hours i think it is isn't it two hours yeah, two hours after waking yeah, don't get any screen time in the morning, which all th I think is pretty sound advice. The screen time thought. one's huge. Yeah, which I don't do. No, same. I've looked at my phone as soon as I woke up. Um, I think that's exercise. You say he likes to exercise early in the day, but he doesn't think there's any real logic behind or sound evidence behind when you actually train as long as you're training. So yeah, it's like this cold water stuff I've been doing and I'm enjoying it. Especially the, oh, well, I've not got the chance to go into something proper cold yet. I would love to see that. Like, I keep skipping skipping winters. So everything, like the showers aren't weren't cold in Australia. Now when I've came back, they're not as cold as I'm going to say, right? A cold shower is worse than a cold dip by, but, a, by a mile. But have you, have you went for a cold shower? I, I don't know what this is like. As, as surely cold showers are way worse than like January and February. Oh, mate, like the yeah. cold. So yeah. Anything so under three it. degrees is considered therapeutic so actually like so, uh, the cold water that you get in australia probably hit the mark cold water in australia the shower yeah, wasn't that cold yeah but it doesn't need to be that cold right it doesn't yeah. need to be freezing you don't right. need to be like breaking the ice on your fucking back door because i think like the <laughs> like joe rogan yeah, yeah like see see all this stuff as well man see all this like andrew huberman stuff and like <clears throat> i did a few lectures with huberman when i was at stanford and blah 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 right the placebo effect is so real yeah. Yeah, yeah this is all nonsense like we are we're like we're living in a, a time where people are now getting up taking the tape off their mouth so that they nose breathe during the night yeah getting into their cold tubs getting sunlight on their assholes like <laughs> why why are you doing it like and it's like i'm optimizing myself to go and stand in a fucking office like yeah. it just it's in, yeah. this is like it's like pointless productivity almost so, yeah it? you're yeah. like but you're like almost like biohacking yourself to make yourself feel like you've got some sort of purpose when actually all you're trying to do is yeah make yourself feel better about your life that's it's it. like yeah. it's so weird it's so like i, I see people on instagram and I, i'm like these people are insane <laughs> like they're, they're yeah. in the cold water and they're like high-fiving and like woo, yes man <laughs> like oh yeah like, i stabbed my best mate like back in the scheme but that that's just fixed it yeah now it's i'm going like, through a morning routine and i'm solid aye, man it's, what are we doing there's another thing that's like wellness for what like see if you spend i know people who spend their full day in a routine about wellness and it's like but why yeah your full life is about try to optimize yourself to live a good life but you're not living a good life if you're constantly like in this sort of routine yeah. you know what i mean and then if you fall out of the routine 
you feel like you're out of control. You know oh my Jen? God, like I can't have, I can't have a Big Mac. Like, oh, that's me. And it's like, that's insane, man. Jenka like, hedonic adaptation sets in with that as well, where you do it for, you do stuff like that for like whatever, six months. And then you, you just adapt to that and that becomes your norm. And then it's, yeah, you mate. get bored of that. And then it's the next phase. I think this is very, this is very much all a phase, all the fucking yeah. cold water well, shit. Well, you go through all that. If you like start doing that new morning routine, you'll maybe be like eight or nine at, out of 10 happy for like two weeks until you get acclimatized to that everyone's and then you'll go, your baseline will go down again you know it's yeah. so like i do that all the time like the amount of times that i'm like i don't go through that kind of fucking morning routine like that crazy person morning routine but i'll like maybe use notion for a week to like track my notes or whatever and i'll feel great about it and then i'll get a bit fed up like i'll just start using notes again with a slightly different setup and it makes me feel good for a week and then i'll be like then i'll start using a notebook or whatever just little things like that you're just fucking changing little systems and it does give you a little dopamine search for like maybe a week or two 